Elizabeth Olsen may not be an Olsen twin, but she definitely shares her older sister's preference for keeping her love life under wraps. The actress has been with Robbie Arnett for the past five years, and while they've done their best to keep their love life private, she recently let slip that they took the next step in their relationship. They got married. Naturally, we had to dig up everything we could about their love story. Elizabeth Olsen has done her best to keep most of her relationships under the radar. However, one of her most publicized splits was with her ex-fiancé, Boyd Holbrook. As it turns out, the actor took the breakup pretty bad, considering how and when Elizabeth called things off. While neither of them confirmed their engagement, the actress was spotted wearing a ring on that finger back in 2014. However, when the actress was seen without her ring the following year, rumors of a split started to swirl around the couple. The whole thing just made me uncomfortable, and it's not even like I was really uh, paying attention to comments or anything. I just felt weird. Olsen has never publicly spoken about her breakup with Boyd. However, he has without actually mentioning her name. During an interview, the actor shared, On the same day that my best friend died, I got a call from my girl to tell me it was over. It was pretty clear who he was talking about, considering the timing of the breakup. At the end of 2014, Boyd's best friend was photographer David Armstrong, and he tragically passed away around that time. It wasn't much later that Elizabeth was spotted without her engagement ring. Since then, Holbrook seems to have held a bitter resentment about the split with Olsen, and we don't blame him either. It's just my life and my perspective has radically changed. However, we're sure that it wasn't her intention to end the relationship that way. We think it all boiled down to some really bad timing. In 2017, Olsen met musician Robbie Arnett, who's a member of the indie pop band Milo Green. They were both on holiday in Mexico around the beginning of that year, and while we don't know how they officially met, we can only assume that they must have bumped into each other on their little vacation. Just a few months later, they were spotted cozying up together in New York City. An insider close to the new couple shared, They are in an exclusive relationship, and Lizzie is excited about him. She deserves it. It's very new though, but they seem to like each other a lot already. The couple continued to be spotted out on the town, and by August of 2017, Olsen finally confirmed that she was officially dating on net. How is Elizabeth Olsen? I'm great. Thanks for asking Google. <laughs> She didn't get into the nitty-gritty details, but when she was asked about her favorite music, she answered, My boyfriend's in a band called Milo Green. I really like them, and I like him. After about six months of dating, Elizabeth and Robbie made their first official appearance as a couple at the Gersh Agency pre-Emmy party. It was clear that the couple looked very much in love and happy together at the event. Considering the actress has always been pretty private about her love life, Everyone knew it was a big deal for her to bring her boyfriend to an event like that. But she was proud to have him there with her and wanted to show Robbie off to everyone. The following year, during an interview with James Corden, Elizabeth confessed that she and her boyfriend had moved in together. We live together! Right! Yeah, 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 it already happened. When actor David Tennant, who also made an appearance on the show, joked that there was no going back now that they'd moved in together, Olsen replied, That was my plan. <laughs> The couple went on to date quietly over the next year, keeping mostly to themselves but allowing their love to blossom between them. By July of 2019, engagement rumors started to swirl around after Elizabeth was spotted with a magnificent cushion-cut emerald ring on, yep, you guessed it, that finger. Naturally, the actress wasn't going to confirm anything to the public, but it was pretty fair to assume that she and Robbie had gotten engaged. While on a press tour for WandaVision, she was interviewed by Jimmy Kimmel at the beginning of 2021. The actress revealed that during the international pandemic, she and Robbie had moved to England together. She spoke about their low-key celebration for New Year while referring to Arnett as her man. I mean, I'm a very safe player of like all games. I follow all the rules and um, I, I was home. Uh, with my with my with my man Robbie, and uh, we set an alarm to make sure we didn't miss midnight. And uh, <laughs> and I actually I put on a dress. It was really exciting. <laughs> While she never mentioned anything about an engagement, it was clear that she and Robbie were still going strong and were serious about their relationship if they moved across the world together. During another interview, the actress shared she and her man partner were living out this British dream together. 
She even hinted at the possibility of her and Arnett permanently moving to England. Naturally, what followed the engagement rumors were whispers of a secret wedding. Thankfully, this time they weren't just whispers for very long. The details were still kept pretty secretive, like the actual wedding date or location or guests for that matter. Elizabeth did share in an interview that she and Robbie took the next step in their relationship. In June of 2021, the actress sat down with Kaylee Kuoko for Variety's Actors on Actors series, in which she casually referred to Robbie as her husband. During the virtual interview, Elizabeth explained that she was sitting in the bathroom because her neighbors were busy doing construction in their backyard and it was making too much noise to sit anywhere else in the house. To her surprise, she then realized that Robbie had placed a special decoration in the background. She gushed. Okay, I also just noticed that my husband put Little Miss Magic, you know, the Little Miss books. They're these classic books, but magic because of WandaVision because he's such a f***ing cutie. So even though we're desperate for the details and the pictures, unfortunately, it seems as though we might not be getting any of those. One of the reasons for that is that Elizabeth deleted her Instagram account at the end of 2020 and has no plans of reactivating it. The actress went on to explain her reasons for deleting her account. I didn't find it very organic to who I am as a person. I found some joy in putting up silly videos, but I think the main reason I stopped not, I think, I know the main reason why I stopped was because of the organization in my brain. During the pandemic, I was like, oh, well, you know what? This just is not for me. And I, and I just got rid of it and I, will, I won't go back. We're so happy that Elizabeth has found someone to share the rest of her life with. And Robbie truly seems to make her feel special. Maybe keeping things private is how they make their relationship work. We all know how highly publicized Hollywood romances can sometimes take a toll on the relationship, so we don't blame them for wanting to keep things between them under the radar. While we're talking about relationships, let's take a quick trip down memory lane to see who else Elizabeth dated before she settled down with Robbie. Way back in 2012, Olsen was linked to Swedish actor and True Blood star Alexander Skarsgård. They were spotted getting cozy and comfortable together during the Vanity Fair Oscars after party that same year. But since the actress likes to keep things private, neither of them ever commented on their relationship. In 2015, only three months after her breakup from Boyd Holbrook, Elizabeth was linked to another Hollywood star. You've said you and this man, Chris Evans, are very close friends. We were. We lived very close to each other and during that time we'd hang out a lot. Rumors of her and her Avengers co-star Chris Evans dating started circulating in the media. However, the two put an end to them during an appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. The actress joked, Oh, we've heard Well, that. we've been dating for like that. secretly for the last three years. Yeah, I remember we're sending actually you a engaged. text saying, yeah. Hey, guess what? Apparently we're dating. While they might have joked about their romance, we always like to think where there's smoke, there's usually a fire, even if it is a small one. The actress was also linked to yet another one of her co-stars. In the biographical drama, I Saw the Light, Elizabeth Olsen starred alongside Tom Hiddleston. They were soon rumored to be in a relationship. An insider close to the former couple revealed, they've been talking constantly. It's good for the both of them. They really care for each other. Neither of them are looking to jump into a large commitment, but it's getting more serious. Unfortunately, it seems as if things between the pair fizzled out before they got too serious. A source said that she wasn't sure she could handle a serious relationship right now. Um, is that what it is? You're thinking about it too much and wanting it to be perfect, or? No, maybe. Maybe there's a control freak aspect to it, because I like being in control. However, the two ended things on good terms, and they still speak very highly of one another. As it turns out, it wasn't such a bad thing that her previous relationships didn't work out, because if it weren't for those breakups, she wouldn't have landed up with Robbie. For now, the couple has no plans for kids, but is planning to release a children's book later this year called Hattie Harmony, Worry Detective. Perhaps they're planning to read that to their future kids. And then you're like, okay, well, and then at what point do I get pregnant? And at what point do I have my first baby? And <laughs> like, yeah. like, okay, is that five Welcome years? to being a woman. Yeah, yeah, is that five years from now? Cause then I only have like this kind of a window. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't be happier for Elizabeth and Robbie and we only wish them the best for their future as a married couple. We can't wait to see what's in store for them.